This video is about the power systems and wiring the wings. Providing clean power is essential to good video and even more important because I'd like to use the latest version of Minimo SD that I found without it crapping out. I've been trying it on my twin dream and had some flights cut short because I either lost the OSD or the video entirely. I'll make a separate video about that. I wanted to design something that would eliminate ground loops, provide some redundancy, and let me keep the wiring neat and be flexible to support future needs. This is what I've come up with. It starts with the current and voltage sensor for the APM, which is also a 2 amp BEC, providing power for the APM and some ancillaries. The pinout looks like this. Since the cable wasn't long enough, I needed to splice in something to make it longer. I also filtered the 5 volt output since this is critical to smooth operations and this is also connected at potentially the noisiest location in the entire power system. Power hub, which feeds both the outboard motors and the BEX that will drive the rest of the equipment, is made from some reclaimed PCB out of a power supply. I chose a section that had wide traces on both sides of the board and designed mine to take advantage of them. In the end, I ended up soldering on a bridge of solid core wire for each rail, since I wasn't confident that the contact area at the edges of the holes would be sufficient to supply the power for the motors. As you can see, I also added two 2200 microfarad capacitors to help smooth out the supply and hopefully ease the water hammer effect the ESCs have on the entire electrical system. Two connections run to the wings to run ESCs, and the third runs to the back of the plane where two 5 amp DC to DC transformers produce 5 volts and 12 volts to run everything on the plane. Mounted to the pylon for the electronics tray, they are out of the way, secure, and handy connect devices to. The power distribution board provides a flexible way of wiring the plane. On the left there is an unfiltered 12 volt rail to run things like gimbals and lights. Next to it is an LC filtered rail for the video transmitter and cameras. On the right is an unfiltered 5 volt rail for all the servos on the plane, the T-beacon and Mobius chargers. I added 1000 microfarad capacitors to the opposite end of each rail from where they are supplied to help eliminate voltage fluctuations due to changes in load and mark the polarity of the pins with a sharpie to ensure I don't hook things up wrong later. Because everything that needed filtered 5 volts is on the electronics tray, I built a smaller daughter board for the LC filter and rail and attached it to the underside of the tray. This will provide power to everything on the tray and serve as a backup to the BEC for the APM. It also means a single connection can be removed to get the tray out of the plane instead of one to each component. I completed all of the cutouts for the components that will go in the wings, the video transmitter, the data radio, and lights. I had to increase the depth of the cavity for the flap servos, and I also flipped one around so the servos would move in the same direction. No need for a reversed servo or servo reverser. I also cut all the harness connections to the correct length and routed all the connections to the surface of the wing, ensuring that I can swap components in the future without having to cut anything. I even built pylons to hold the ESEs in the center of the engine cavity, and provide better airflow. The lights are going to look pretty neat, I think, even if I only have one channel per wing. I used some 12 volt LED strip I had left over from another project and carefully slotted them into the wings. Made for some tricky soldering to get the multiple locations on the same run, but I think it turned out really good. I added hot glue ribs to the strips so when I laminate the wings, the lamb will go over and maintain the airfoil shape and not touch the LEDs. Still lots of work to do, including come up with a paint scheme. Consider subscribing so you don't miss the next installment. Thanks for watching.